Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And now I have just a small amount of channeling from the Paramecia. Mm, the singular is Paramecium. And I don't know if they're inside the body or, if, or in bodies of water. I have to look it up. I don't know that much about Paramecia. Except that I think that they're, they must be larger uh, than bacteria and uh, yeast. And I have to look that up too. And uh, also... Apparently they're like carnivorous in the microorganism realm. I have to look that up. I don't know anything. Uh, so, but I can tell you that they sound very uh, kind of rough and gruff and ragged edged. Their their voices are are not mellifluous and. Uh, I asked them, I said, do you have any fun? And they said, no, we don't. And so I, then I was trying to think what to say next. And I, so I said, what do you do? And they said, um, they said two things. They said, we warn you not to copulate. We warn you not to copulate. Like that, it was more of a warning sound. We warn, like, um, it was like a threat. We warn you not to copulate. And I'm going, what are they doing to these microorganisms while they're copulating, <laughs> you know? And they said, balancing act on that one. And that's a term that I've heard quite frequently in the subconscious mind. Um, balancing act on that one. And so I thought and thought about it while I was swimming. And it occurred to me that this might mean that they're balancing the population of other species by um, by preying upon them, eating them. And so I was thinking about that, and they said, I was thinking, geez, they're sort of like cannibals. And they said, no, we're exo-eaters or something like that. <laughs> it was really very interesting. Uh, they they picked up that word exobiology, I guess, and they said they were exo-eaters. So there's that on paramecia. More later, I hope, because that was hardly anything.